hello guys and welcome to the fifth video in this series today we'll be looking at conditional branching so this is where we'll go into the logical system of using the if else and elif statements all right so what we'll do here we're gonna go into our presentation mode and if you're wondering how that is done you simply go up to view and right here you see enter presentation mode all right so uh, let's look at the structure of um, the conditional branching or the syntax that Python uses for its if statements so it's basically if your expression and your suite so in fear coming from other programming language such as C++ sorry or Java then you'll notice that Python does things a little differently so there are no parentheses and there are no brackets instead you have the if followed by your expression then you have a colon and then you have a suite so we call it suite in Python and you will call it block in a other language like C++ or Java so after your if statement you also have a elif and that would be followed by your expression too so your second expression followed by your colon and then your second suite okay and this can go on and on so you can have uh, uh, any amount of elif statement after this then at the end optionally you can have your else statement and your else statement is just followed by a colon and then whatever suite you are at okay so this is the basic syntax of python when it comes on to conditional branching all right so let's get into some logical operations to show you what we can do with Python um, if statements all right so let's say x equal 5 and y equal 10 all right we can then go ahead and say if x is greater than y then we go on to our suite we say print x all right but if it's not greater than y then we'd want to say print and we'll do something like uh, x is not greater oh greater than y all right and let's run this to run this um will you can go up here to your menu and you can click run you'll get a pop-up with the different um, files you have open and we can just go with the one we have right here and our console pop-up and as you see right here in the output it says X is not greater than Y which makes sense alright so if we should go ahead and um, change the sign so we say if x is less than y then we'll print x if not 
then we'll print x is not greater than y. So let's see what happens here. So right now I'm going to use Control and F5 to run this. So let's see what happens. And you see that it actually prints the value of x. Alright, how about we say, for example, let's get rid of this. Mm, let's say costs. Finding the cost for something. And the cost is 50. Alright, we can set up a, a bunch of elif statement to say, okay, if cost is less than 10, then we'll say print. Uh, cost is low then we can say elif cost is less than 20 then print price is kind of low <laughs> and we can go ahead and say elif cost is less than 40 can go ahead and print price or let's be consistent. Let's say cost cost is okay, and if not, so if 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 none of these conditions are met, then we want to say price is too high or the cost is too high. Alright, and let's go ahead and run this. So as you see, cost is 50. So as you see, it should not, it should not, um, wait, what's wrong here? Oh, it should not fall in any of these categories. So we'll see what happens. So let's go ahead and run this. And you see it says cost is too high. So what if we should put this at say 35? Then it should not. It should not um, be in this one because this is 10. should not be in this because this is 20. So it should stop right here. So let's see if that's the case. Let's go ahead and run. You see it says cost is okay. So you're thinking what if it's um, what if it's below 20? Would both of these elif statement run? Well, let's see what happened. So let's put 15. <coughs> and let's run this. And you see it says cost is kind of low. But it didn't say cost is okay. Even though it would also match this statement here. The reason for this is because with an if block, um, after Python checks this statement and if the condition is met it prints this if not it goes on to the second if statement which is a elif statement and if the condition is met it print this now in python once the condition is met it breaks out of checking so even though 15 would be below 40 so you might expect this to be printed it won't because this is a elif statement that means if this statement is not met then it would go on to this so it would find the first one that meets where it's true because this evaluates the true so and then it prints this and it breaks out 
so that's why it doesn't go on and check in everything else all right we can also um do all right if say for example this was a one suite statement um it's not required that we start this in another line and important also is the indentation in python so as you can see we have the if statement here and then we indent so in the python language there is no required amount of indentation but the thing is that all indentation should be consistent so if this is four spaces then all your other indentation should be four spaces or it will throw some error in python um, the next thing is that um, the safest way to do this though is using the tab key um, since that would be pretty consistent throughout your whole code okay so what i was saying about the the suite being um, indented under the if statement if it's one suite then you could always put it in line can always put it in line with the with the if statement and we can check if that run and you see that the code still runs without error so um it's not what you say like as you can see based on pep 8 then it's not a correct way of doing things because you pretty much want your code to be consistent um with other well with the we call the pythonic way of doing stuff so it's recommended that you go ahead and indent your suite all right there are a couple other um, logical operations we can do we can check if cost equals 10 and for this ensure that you have two equal sign because if we should put one equal sign then it will assign 10 to cost all right so make sure that is two equal sign um you go ahead and run this you can see that it's not but if we should put 15 here And we should go ahead and run this. You see that it prints cost equal 15. We can also do equal, we can do less than and equal to. And we can go ahead and run that. You see that it will still be true. Um, we can do not equal to. And you can see it, it comes out to false. Uh, there are a couple other ones. Um, we can also use, um, say, not cost not fifteen. Well, well, not in. All right. Let's see what this will do. Oh, it would cause yeah, it's not iteratable. So if this was a list. Let's say mango. And we say mango 
if mango in fruits see. yes all right so let's try if mango in fruits then we should print yes and you see it's yes so once this statement accounts to a true then the suite following that statement would be um, executed so there are others like is is not in not in not and and are all right so again it's pretty um it's recommended that you go ahead and you do a couple if statements um get used to it especially if you're coming from another programming language um, you might be tempted to put uh, parentheses, brackets, and so forth. So go ahead and mess around with these if statements. And we will um, continue in our next video with looping. So we will uh, check out the while loop, the for loop, and so forth. So I hope you learned a lot today. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.